Yup, of course you lie. Sit there and organize. Try to be more than just host. Um, thinking you sort of tight. Cause someone wrote you lines. Thinking you whores have got flow. <laughs> no, you can record the lies. Me Came and, and hit me up with a question right quick. Shout out to uh, Matthew, by the way. That's his name. Matthew, man, shout out to you. I appreciate you being a being a subscriber because he told me after everything that he was a subscriber. So, But check this out, though. He said he was rolling, and he got pulled over by a local uh, local law enforcement. He says that, uh, yo, what's up, guys? Lockout men in the building. Yes, sir. I am here in Texas. I'm almost close to where I'm supposed to be, I guess. I don't have to drop my load until maybe about 8 o'clock in the morning or between 8 and 3. But my, my fleet manager says 8 o'clock in the morning. So that's the time I'm going to be there. So check this out, y'all. Check this out. I'm rolling. I, I'm rolling, minding my business. I get over here to this truck stop. I pulls up in this truck stop so I can, you know, take my little 30 right quick. So while I'm up in this truck stop, one of the drivers at the fuel pump, because, you know, you know how we do it. We, we all like to chop it up at the fuel pump. But, you know, one of the drivers at the fuel pump, I guess he recognized me, but he came and, and hit me up with a question right quick. Shout out to uh, Matthew, by the way. That's his name. Matthew, man, shout out to you. I appreciate you being a, being a subscriber because he told me after everything that he was a subscriber. So, But check this out, though. He said he was rolling, and he got pulled over by a local, uh, local law enforcement. He says, that, uh, he says that the cop pulled him over because somebody called on him like you know he was he was um what do you say he was doing they said that he was like i don't know I, I i can't remember the gist of the conversation but he got pulled over for a wellness check but at the same time he said he got pulled over for speeding the speed limit he said it was 40 but he was doing 50 and a 40 and guys you know how let me tell you, let me tell you something about these speed traps. When you guys go to these small towns, be vigilant on what the speed is. Let me tell you this. A good rule of thumb, if you get in a small town and you don't see the speed limit, a good rule of thumb is to do at least about 30, maybe, maybe uh, uh, about 30, between 30 and 35. I'm I'm gonna say 30 on the low end, but here in Texas, you know, it could be the low end could be 40 because the high end could be as high as 80 on some of them outer routes. But I know Texas speed limit goes all the way up to 75, and they do fluctuate, man. I mean, one minute you'll be doing 70, next minute you'll be doing 65, next minute you'll be doing 50. So be vigilant. So anyway. He says that uh, that you know he the cop said that he was doing fifty you know fifty and a forty, but the cop, you know I guess he was a cool cop so he got a good one. He said that the cop gave him a warning, and I'm like, huh, okay. But here's the question that I'm going to throw out to you guys because I threw it out in my Facebook group. Hold on for a second. Let me let me see if I can let me see if I can pull up the question. So I threw out this question. Y'all y'all gotta bear with me. My internet is is uh is whoa. So I threw out this question. I says um, the driver asked me, "Is a warning is the same as a ticket?" And that was a very good question. I. I have read that a warning could be just as worse as a ticket, but then as I did dug delve delve as I delve a little bit deeper into this question, I asked him. I say, "Yo, did the cop said that you had to go to court?" Or did you have to pay the ticket? Because, you know, when the cops write you out a ticket, they'll usually be like, okay, you could take care of the ticket. Uh, you could take care of the ticket by way of Internet, phone, or you will give you a court date when it comes in. 
So I'm thinking the key word here is pay in court. So did he did he did he say you had to pay anything or you had to go to court or anything? And uh, and the driver was like, no, nah, man, he, he just said that uh, he pulled me over uh, to give me a wellness check, you know, just to check up on me and to give me a warning. And so I says, is anything in that warning pertain to any inspection or anything like that? He was like, no, nah, this is a ticket from a local, a local cop. So I said, I, you know, in my opinion. I, I said if if it ain't no citation because a ticket doesn't become a I mean doesn't become a citation until it's actually written out. So if he ain't give you no citation, then I guess you don't have nothing to worry about. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to pay anything. You don't have to uh, you don't have to worry about no no points on your license, right? So I just told him you know if it's only a warning then I, I think you're good to go. But I, I threw the question out in the Facebook group, and I asked the group what, what they think. Now, a couple of drivers came back, and they was like, yo, uh, a ticket is the same as a, a warning is the same as a ticket. And I was like, let's, let's dig a little bit deeper into that, though. There wasn't no payment, that, or there's no need of a payment, and he don't have no points. And on the and on the on the ticket itself, because he showed me, it says in big letters, "This is only a warning." So he didn't have to pay anything. So I I went back and I did some research, and I came up I came up with with this. All right. So from what I found, it says here it says there are basically three kinds of citations tickets issue for more i mean for moving vehicles okay the one is the standard ticket which means you have to pay a fine it'll go on your driving on your driving record unless you successfully fight it so if you go to court and you beat the case then you don't have you won't assess anything that's that's the main ticket that's the that's the one where you have to go to court and where you have to pay number two he says a warning traffic ticket means that it's just a warning. Now, here's where here's where it comes to switch at. If you get a warning, uh, if you get a warning doing a DOT site, I mean doing the DOT roadside inspection, then yes, it will affect your CSA points. All right. But if you get a warning from a local cop or or a local whatever. I don't at least this this now listen listen I'm not sure if this actual facts or not all right if if you guys want facts y'all got to go and you know do like I did and and try to research it all right so this ain't my facts this is somebody else's facts all right so basically if you get pulled over by DOT and get inspected and if you do anything for DOT to pull you over then yeah it, it, and he says just a warning, but it's going to be written up. Then yeah, it's it's going to reflect your CSA score and probably points on your license. But he says it, a warning ticket, a, a warning traffic ticket means that it's just a warning. It means that you've been given a written notice to remove your head from the back side of your butt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And drive like you got some sense. There's no penalties other than the hassle of being stopped and wasted time. All right. I don't think it was a wasted time for this particular driver because, like I said, he said the cop actually stopped him because he was doing a wellness check. So he just want to make sure that he was all right, I guess. And number three, a fits it ticket. Now, I had plenty of these in my youth. I got, you know, I, I got plenty of these. You know, you get pulled over for uh, no front plate, fits it, and then just show the judge. You get pulled over for broken tail light, fits it, and just tell the judge. So, yeah, I got plenty of those tickets. Not really issue for a moving vehicle, but oftentimes it is issue if the cop decides to not write you 
for a moving violation, but wants to get you for something fixed on your car, all right, or motor vehicle. These can be taken care of by getting the problem fixed and having either a mechanic or LEO, depending on your jurisdiction rules, regulations, to sign off on the ticket. These, he said, these are your standard traffic tickets that are may or may not be DOT regulation. All right. So I guess, I guess the warning, like he said right here, he said that I, a warning, he said, warning is sort of a pass on violation and don't mean, and don't, don't do it again type thing. There are two reasons for a cop doing this. First and foremost, it shows his supervisors that he's actually doing something besides drinking and eating donuts. And secondly, it's giving the motorist a wake-up call to change his driving behavior without the stiff penalty. What do you guys think? Leave your comments in the comments below. What do you guys think about that right there, man? I don't know. It's, it's like I said. Um... My my thought of the whole thing is if he got a ticket and it says that he had to pay or go to court, then, yeah, it's going to reflect your uh, it's going to reflect your driving record. But let me give you this word of advice, though. The ticket is still a ticket until you go to court. Now, if you pay the ticket, then it becomes a citation and then it will reflect on your driving record. If you go to court and you lose, then it will reflect on your driving record. But if you go to court and you win, then it was it was nothing at all. It was nothing at all. So guys, tell me what you think. I mean, give give me your opinion because this is all opinionated anyway, right? Leave your comments in the comments below. Yo, check it out, guys. This little clip right here, right quick, man. Look, old school right here is about to hit you guys up on some good game. Good game. You hear me? You feel me? I want you guys to take a listen to what this old man got to say and take heed to what he's saying because what he's saying is the truth. It's the truth. Check it out. Check out this little clip right quick. Motherfucker, you a hoe. And you're going to snitch. Mm -hmm. You're a straight up hoe. Anybody that got to get up and go f with another nigga every goddamn day to get mm. his goddamn money, sit around all day long mm -hmm. with that bullshit, then come out and play like you talk. I ain't got no money. Can't even pay your way in the club. Can't mm -hmm. buy you no motherfucking bill. Mm -hmm. You hold that motherfucker. Speak on you it, bro. break your neck to go to the penitentiary because you're a sorry motherfucker. Penitentiary don't really want your motherfucking ass. Ooh. This is around the United States, and y'all the one doing all the killing, you stupid motherfuckers. Y'all ain't right. got bond money. Mm, and mm, blacks, mm. y'all fight one another every day about nothing. Nothing at all. Y'all one another every day about nothing. Nothing at all. What's wrong with y'all? Y'all ain't got nothing to do, nothing to think about, no family. You don't take care of your kid or nothing. Mm. And you wake up every day and be with another nigga, five niggas together. Mm. Four niggas together. And wherever mm. you stupid motherfuckers go, y'all start some motherfucking problems. Mm. If you dick hole that motherfucker that's riding with that nigga and he giving y'all everything, y'all ain't gonna do him across him and snitch on it. Nigga, get them niggas away from you, fool. <laughs> and I'm sick of dick holding ass niggas and I'm sick of petty, cheap motherfuckers. Came by a cup, came yeah. by a cigarette. Mm. You playing like you tough. A nigga don't wanna kill you. A nigga ain't got no money to go pay bond for you. Nigga, a nigga ain't scared of you. Mm, mm, All you mm. dick holding motherfuckers playing like y'all tough. A nigga sick of y'all. Mm. Stay away from people's establishment if you don't know how to act. Sure. Don't go out fighting and acting no fool. For and sure. And that's a damn fool. For sure. Nigga, sick of you grown ass motherfucking little boys running around here. Ain't got nothing to do with holding a nigga. Dick. Sign off. Sign off. Ass niggas, man. Obama. All right, so this next topic right quick, this driver uh, from the Facebook group, he uh, he got a question. He's kind of afraid because of he thinks self-driving trucks is going to just come in and just take over. I I don't think so, but but 
a lot of a lot of new jacks is 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 afraid of of the technology that's going to be coming out in the future now look let me tell you guys something all right about self-driving trucks let me look it is what it is with a self-driving truck the truck is going to drive itself but it still got to have a driver in that truck no matter what just because the companies is is going to invest in self-driving trucks doesn't mean that they're not going to invest in the driver the driver still needs to be in that truck you got to understand that truck is only going to drive the highway by itself when it comes when it comes off the highway the driver is going to have to take control because you know stop go traffic Bump, uh, bumper to bumper traffic a driver is going to have to negotiate all that the truck can't negotiate all that by itself and then when it gets to the shipper and receiver you think the truck is going to back up into the dock by itself man come on now come on now my man right here says i'm afraid to go to cdl school to take my cdl driving test and if i invest a lot of money into a school then i'm going to come out of school and there's not going to be no jobs because of this self-driving truck. There's going to always be driving jobs, bro. All right? Don't, don't be afraid of that. There's going to always be driving jobs. All right? So, it's a fad right now. You know, self-driving trucks is a fad. Companies is not going to invest millions of dollars into getting a fleet of self-driving trucks. And if they do, they still need the driver to drive it, regardless. He said, I would love to be a truck driver, but everyone is telling me not to get into trucking because of self-driving trucks are going to take over the trucking industry soon. That's going to be a big employment of millions of drivers that will be out of a job. Will trucking companies switch over to self-driving trucks? Are self-driving trucks threatening the trucking industry? What do you think? Me personally? I don't think I don't think it's gonna happen. I, I don't think I don't think self-driving trucks is gonna take over. I don't think uh self-driving trucks is gonna be this end all be all thing. I don't see it. I, I really don't. I don't see it. I don't see it coming. They still going to need somebody to drive the truck. You know what I'm saying? They still going to need somebody to back up the truck. <laughs> they still going to need somebody to drive in the city. You know what I'm saying? Come on. We, there's There's been plenty of videos out there. All you got to do is look on your Facebook. But there's been plenty of videos out there where drivers been in precarious situations. You think a self-driving truck is gonna is 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 gonna is gonna take the spot of a human? Come on now, come on now. We gotta negotiate what we what we got our what our situation is, man. Come on now, self-driving trucks. I wouldn't look. I've, I've seen way too many videos out here with with drivers being asleep in their self-driving cars. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This. Let me ask you this. The, 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 let me ask you this and leave it in the comments below. If a self-driving truck gets into an accident on a highway, whose fault is it? Is it the truck or is it the driver? Now, we already... Us as truck drivers, we already tripping out on the fact that we we are distracted from a lot of stuff. You know, radio in a truck, uh, you know, smoking. Uh, what else we get distracted? We testing on the phone, talking on the phone, all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? A self driving truck with a with a driver and a sleeper, it's just giving the just just giving him the 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 thing you need to be a little bit more distracted, right? Right? I don't know. Self-driving trucks. I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't think there's gonna. I don't think it's it's gonna change the industry because it's new technology. Yes, but 
is it going to take over the industry? No. <laughs> no. This like this like automatics. They're this like automatics and manuals. You know what I'm saying? Manuals was the was the standard back in the day. Now with new technology, we got automatics, but we still need drivers to drive them. <laughs> Think about that. All right. All right. In this next clip right here, man, listen, let me tell you guys something before I even get into this next clip right here. Yo, this Copa bullshit with uh, YouTube and and blaming us creators to make our channels uh, not for kids. Look, I'm about to tell you right now, my channel is not for a kid. And if you a kid over the uh, under the age of 13 watching content like this, yo, you need to go somewhere. All right, you need to go back and watch them. Um, uh, what's what's that purple dinosaur? I, I don't even know. You need to go back and watch that. Don't watch my channel. All right, I ain't got time for it. I ain't got time for it. I don't have no money. I'm not trying to get sued, and I'm not trying to lose my revenue either. You see what I'm saying? So, kids, if you're under the age of 13, get off my channel. All right. Now, let's get into this clip right here where this dad just go crazy on this PlayStation 4. As he enters the room. Get back. Get back. Get <laughs> back. <laughs> Listen here, okay. It goes to show you you don't want to you, you don't want to play with the dad, man. The dad came in there and just tore shit up, man. Hey guys, if you guys like <laughs> if you guys like content like this, man, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and hit that bell for more content like this, man. Look, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me on my 30 right quick. I'm about to go ahead and pack it up. See, unpacking all this stuff right here takes a long time, but packing it back up just like that <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i appreciate you guys yo don't forget to hit the brother up with some coffee if you want to support the channel yo there's all sorts of ways to do it and um lockout men that's me i guess that's it man i'll go ahead and get back at y'all with another video oh wait 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 stop don't forget the podcast anchor uh wait <laughs> anchor.fm backslash lockout men don't forget to go over there and, and and subscribe to that if you can't watch the videos yo go ahead and listen to them i appreciate it i got some good interviews coming up soon i want you guys to stay tuned for that i hope you guys enjoy the video that uh the video slash interview that i had with uh queen trucker i got uh the next video is posting uh tomorrow around six o'clock i guess so stay tuned for that so i have plenty of video uh video interviews coming up in the future man make the calls interviews podcasts that's the bell that's telling me i need to get up out of here i'll talk to you guys later peace i'm back <laughs>
Bonga!